Alright everyone, and welcome back to episode number 4 of the Pokemon X Randomized Nuzlocke. Today we are here in, uh, I believe we're still in Silage City? Or no, I believe that's the city we're headed to next, actually. Uh, I forget which one we're in. It's the one with the, with the Pokemon Castle, with the Snorlax route next to it to the left. But, we are continuing on down Route 7 where I believe we're going to actually have a battle with Serena coming up pretty soon. Um, I think I want to lead with Kelly. We haven't seen Kelly in front for a while. But, um, yeah, we're going to have a battle with Serena. There's a couple other trainers on this route, and we are going to need some money here before we continue on, because uh, we're going to have a couple caves and more routes to go through with uh, some encounters of our own to get. Alright, and they lead with Lombre, which is not that great for us. Uh, let's see what level it is. 16. We should be able to take a Mega Drain from it. Fake out. Okay, fair. Doesn't do all that much. Let's see how much Fury Cutter is doing here from Kelly. Over half. Alright, that's fine. Nature Power Energy Ball. That is scary. Um... I'm gonna swap, because I wanna... I don't know if that was a high roll, or a low roll, whatever that was, uh, in terms of the Fury Cutter, I wanna make sure that we kill, so... And that Energy Ball definitely, I think, would've knocked us out next turn. But Icy Wind should take this thing out. Nice. Again, once we get that Ice Beam going, we'll be especially powering through all this. And we just basically earned another Great Ball off that battle. We do got an encounter here. We can't catch it, unfortunately. Polyrath. Uh, honestly, would have been a pretty good Pokemon to have... Uh, encountered here as well. Too bad the Kangaskhan was not really all too interested in joining the team. But we will take on this double battle nonetheless. And I believe there's a uh, battle mansion here, or Maison, and I don't really know what that really does for us at this point in the game. We do, however, face the Bunnelby Tortuga, which <laughs> does not look randomized at all. Uh, but I don't think they just have a random Tortuga for no reason. Crit Razor Shell. Bunnelby goes down. And let's see if Psybeam is enough to take out the Tortuga. However, I feel like it might be able to tank one hit. Yep. Bite. Ooh. Okay, we take that well enough. And Tackle should even be good enough to take it out. Well, not the Tackle, but the Confusion is gone. And we continue on. So that's two people down. How much money do we get for that? We are running into that money issue. 1,000. Okay, that's two hug balls. Okay, this is the Battle Chateau. Excuse me, not the Battle Ma Maison. That's at the end game. Did not mean to run into Serena here. Meant to turn back and battle that painter, but... Oh well. Or do we battle Trevor? Or do we battle all of them? I don't even remember. Get Pout on? <laughs> sure enough. Okay. Oh, we team up with Serena. Okay, yeah. Deerling. Um... I think that Hip Pout on kind of needs to go. That is a scary Pokemon right there. Hopefully, 
Serena targeted as well. No grass type move, unfortunate. Bite from the hip out on. Yeah, that is a lot. Critical hit. Side beam on us as well. That's a lot of damage plus sandstorm. Let's see. I think we're gonna need to swap out into Glaceon would be the play. This way we can just icy win both the Pokemon and uh, deal damage to each of them. I don't think Serena's gonna be it. Yeah, not not able to knock out the Hippowdon. Bite does target the Deerling though. So there's a side beam on to me. Okay, we should take that fine. We do get confused though. That is very 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 unfortunate. How much is Icy Wind? Icy Wind should take out the Hippowdon, but I want to see how much it's going to be able to do to Musharna. I don't think it'll pick up a KO. Yeah, Musharna is pretty bulky. Speed drop though, which is nice. Hippowdon is gone, which means it's just uh, Tierno's Pokemon now, I think. Or no, I think that's Trevor. Tierno still only has the core fish, technically, by this point. And Double Cake is going to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> to this Musharna, who uh, goes with Psybeam again, it's still fine. Hopefully Deerling has a move other than Double Kick, so we're able to take it out. Sand could stop, I think, at the end of next turn, that'd be pretty useful. Musharna does go down, which is nice. 500 experience as well, very nice. Leech Seed. Alright, Sand is still here. Uh, let's see what his last mon is. Crowd Daunt. Trevor rubbing it in the face of, uh... Of Tierno here. Double Kick should deal decent damage now. Still not really that much. <laughs> Alright, Serena. E Harden. I mean, Icy Wind should still do a decent amount of damage. Sandstorm is gone, which is good, though, starting to get kind of annoying. Snapped out of confusion as well, very nice. Alright, and Icy Wind picks up the KO. So we're good here. Jake also grows to level 24 and wants to learn Faint Attack, which he for sure can over Pound. I'm actually surprised that Gothorita even learns Pound. Kyle is now 20 as well, so he's kinda, I guess you say Kyle and Canada have caught up to the squad. I do still have a feeling that Canada levels or evolves with um, friendship, which is unfortunate. That was also a double battle, so we should have decent money in terms of uh, getting our Pokeballs back, which is good. Suspicious Woman is the name. Is King B here to haunt us from the PC box? Is that what this is? Uh, one potion should be fine. I mean, this thing should still only have Fury Attack, so... Unless he goes for Focus Energy this turn. Which he does. Um, uh, thing is, do we kill with a razor shell? I think, I think we should. I mean, Beedrill is frail as anything. He barely lived. Twin Needle, 516. Uh, that does a lot of damage. Hit two times, thank you. Um, we're gonna have to use a super potion here. As much as I want to preserve those as much as possible. Twin Needle again. Does Twin Needle crit every time? I don't think Focus Energy transfers onto the second turn, does it? Maybe it does. Kelly grew to level 25, very nice. 
And now we want to learn Water Pulse, which we for sure can over Water Gun. This is going to come in much more handy. Especially with that possible confusion rate. And another Great Ball added to our inventory with that. Alright, if we can get around Serena here, then we'll be able to enter the cave, but I think we want to enter it from this side. That's just what's in my memory for whatever reason. Connecting cave. Do we get our encounter first? Do we battle first? Let's see, I think we... No, no battle? Heal your mons, that's nice, I'll take that. And what is our encounter in Connecting Cave? Magneton, okay. That is a very good Pokemon to have, I think. Steel and Electric will help us with that Water-type weakness. Um, doesn't really help us with Ground at all. Or Rock, sorry. Actually, no, it does. It does. So, yeah, I mean, other than a Grass-type, I think this is kind of what we were looking for. Uh, I'm gonna go into Kyle. I don't think Scratch should Oko crit this time. <laughs> it will still do a lot of damage, but I don't think it will... It should put it in range of where we need it to be. Or help put us in range. Sonic Boom as well. Is that... Is that like a 40 damaging move? Why do I have the feeling that's like a move that does a certain amount of damage each time. I really hope it isn't. Okay, we're already paralyzed. Scratch. Barely. <laughs> this thing also has Thunder Wave, which is going to be handy in terms of catching other Pokemon down the line, so... Yeah, hopefully we can get this in the party. We'll swap out Canada for Magneton. As long as we can catch it. I don't get what the the problem is with catching everything le lately. I really want to catch this because it. I might waste all our 10 Pokeballs on this just because it'll really help up the team. Hopefully we don't have to. There we go. Alright, very nice. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to head back to a Pokemon Center to buy more balls for the next route. Unless the next route is Route 7. Um, let's see, let's just name him... Let's go ahead and name him Sci-Fi. I do want to go pick him up as well. So we'll heal up here and then we'll head back. I think, and we'll get some more Pokeballs before the next route. Oh, look what else we could have had. <laughs> I'm, I will say I am happy that we did not get this though, because... First of all, we have a Fire-type. Although this might have replaced it, being honest. Um, However, we really did need that water and rock answer, especially if something like a Kyogre were to ever pop up uh, in a battle, but... So yeah, once we get these guys healed up and we get those Ultra Balls, we'll be able to continue past Connecting Cave, and then hopefully we should be more than fine for the next route in terms of uh, what we need to catch. So let's see how many Ultra Balls we can actually pick up. I'm going to sell a bit uh, as well. So 11 Ultra Balls, that's good. And I don't... Did they not give you a Premier Ball in this game? For selling the 10? I'll sell the Clever Wing, because we're not going to use that. Um, berries, I don't think we can sell. Pell, Lagging Tail, River Slower Than Usual. I don't think we'll need that. Can't buy that. Poison Barb might be useful. Can't sell Relic Gold. Can we sell Honey? 
Not really worth it. Um, can we buy another one? We can buy two more, okay. Or three more, actually, okay. I will definitely take that, and then we'll be all good. We'll pop Magneton in the party. And start leveling him up. Sonic Boom, Electric Terrain, Thunder Wave, Thunder Shock, with a Magnet Pull. Fortunately not sturdy. That would have been kind of nice if we got sturdy. But what are you going to do? I mean, we did need a... well, no. We kind of had Rover for flying types, but... I mean, in terms of what we needed for water and uh, rock, Magneton will help out quite a bit. As long as we can get, like, Flash Cannon or something on him. Sci-Fi should put in some uh, decent amount of work on the party, I will say. Alright, so hopefully we don't encounter anything going through Connecting Cave this time around. Hopefully, I mean, the encounter rate's low in here, but... Hopefully this is Route 8. It is. Alright, cool. So, stop right there. Who is this again? Alright, it's these guys. Alright, and the next, um, the next, ba the next badge is just down there, which I don't know if we'll be able to get to in this episode, but definitely next episode. Uh, we can lead sci-fi. And let's see what we get. Okay, we do not have... I don't think we have the Pokeballs to catch a Dragonair. However, that's not the scary thing about what's going on here. The scary thing is that this thing probably has Dragon Rage. Okay, Leer, that's fine. I'm gonna try and lower it as much as I can. Or try and paralyze it with Lick. Crit, alright. Alright, he's gonna Thunder Wave us. So he's got Leer, Thunder Wave. Hopefully he reveals all four, and not one of them is uh, a Twister. So Twister, Leer, Thunder Wave. Is there a fourth move? I don't. I think he lives another lick, and hopefully he gets paralyzed as well on top of it. Perfect. Dragon Rage, okay there it is. We are going to need to Super Potion. We have to hope he doesn't spam that move. Thunder Wave again, okay, we get a chance to throw a ball. 22 chances to catch this. If we were to catch a Dragonair, which I don't know if that is possible, uh, would be very, very, very helpful. I just don't know who we'd personally swap out of the team. And the thing is, if I can't switch into Magneton and Thunder Wave because of the Dragon Rage that this Pokemon has, and how dangerous it is at this early on in the Pokemon uh, game. Thunder Wave again. We almost caught it there. We got two shakes. I think I'll go down to ten Pokeballs for this encounter. Only we had Ultra Balls by now. I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what Dragonair's catch rate is, but I don't think it's that low. We almost got it too. 
I don't think it's that low in Gen 6, because I know that there is an area where you can encounter it. And it's near the Pope, or near Victory Road. It's like the route right before it, not the one, not Route 22, but the route on the other side. Alright, we're gonna need to heal again. He's gonna start spamming the Dragon Rage. He's found the win button, as some might say. I don't know if we can continue with this. If he uses it two more times in a row, it might be too risky. Already uses Leer, that's fine then. But I think if we have to waste two more Super Potions, we might have to leave this battle where it is. Hmm. Let's see, how many how many Pokeballs do we have left now? Pokeballs fifteen? I don't know, maybe only waste three more. I mean, the thing is, is you always save your Pokeballs in a Nuzlocke for when a good Pokemon comes around. And Dragonair is obviously one of those uh, good Pokemon that you're saving your Pokeballs for. So it's kind of like, well, do I want to go waste them all catching this? Or do I want to save it in case something else pops up in the next couple routes? But I have a feeling that we are close to catching it. As as I say that. That is gonna be quite the big member to the team. And I think I know who we're gonna replace for Dragonair. Queen the Dragonair has been transferred to box one. But I do think we're gonna go back and pick it up because, first of all. Okay, it's Magneton, it's fine. First of all, we need to heal, which I mean, we could do. Magnapole prevents. Oh, this is dangerous. Can I swap? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Okay, is Sonic Boom the move I'm thinking of? That does 20. So I have to hope that he doesn't do that. Please, I do not need the Magneton to die right now. Oh no. Okay, Electric Terrain, that's fine. Do I go for the Thundershock and risk missing the Sonic Boom? No. Okay, we just kill. Alright, perfect. <sighs> that was lucky. That was very, very, very lucky. Kyle grew to 21, which is fine. We're over to level 25 as well. Oh, with Ice Shard. I think we're actually going to get rid of Ice Fang, just because it really doesn't do that much damage with our attack stat. And having Ice Shard will be a very useful priority. Okay, I'm going to switch Rover to the front. In case that happens again. That is too risky, we do not need to lose sci-fi this early on after just catching him. However, I will say, the Dragonair catch, I would say, personally, makes up for the Rayquaza, the Loudred, and... Well, technically you could argue the Snorlax, and what was on this route here, actually, on Route 7? Or did we catch... No, we didn't catch the Route 7. I forget what the encounter was. But I think it makes up for it now. So we're going to heal up, 
And unfortunately, one of our higher level members is about to leave. And you can probably guess who it is already by now. But it's gonna end up being... Oh, Shedskin, so that's pretty good. It's going to end up being Jake. The reason being, Jake is a psychic type. And we have Brakeson on the team who will eventually be Fire Psychic, which is going to be a much better Pokemon in general than a Gothitelle. And it'll just hit harder in general, and with the double typing or dual typing, it'll just have so much more coverage. So that's why. Unfortunately, Jake gets boxed, but the team is very powerful now with uh, with what we've got so personally I don't think especially with dragon rage we're gonna be we're gonna be soaring through some things so actually I'm going to lead with queen to make sure that we can just dragon rage everything on the road and get as much XP as possible because I don't know if the uh, final evolution level was changed with the randomizer. I don't think I changed it, but it could be 40, where it's max level Pokemon by level 40. But uh, I could double check, but I don't know if I actually can go back into the randomized file anymore. Uh, let's see, where do we go? I thought there were trainers all over this place. Can I go back up? I guess you came into the grass. Let's take this way this time. HP up, alright. Get some of that medicine. Oh, and yeah, I guess there's no trainer on this part. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Pokey family with the Metapod. Um, yeah, I think we still need to Dragon Rage. Alright, Queen, first battle. And again, another Pokemon with Thunder Wave, so that is very handy. Metapod actually lives. Alright, I'm gonna see how much Twisters. Oh, because the Metapod's level 19. Twister does take it out, though. That's going to be some decent experience. Leveling up this thing, though, is going to be a hassle. And now that I've seen that the trainers are level 19, Queen is definitely not ready to be at the front of the party. So, I do think Kyle is a good enough level, though. So, we're going to keep him there. For now, at least. Move on to this Absol user, who's a usually an Absol user. But he's also usually not a swimmer, I guess, so. Alright, so these are level 15s, which I guess we could have kept uh, our pal Dragonair in. Scratch doing a ton of damage. Earth Ring is going to be probably our best physical attacking Pokemon. Its attack size is just so high. Uh, so we're going to try, or actually, I know a move that we need to teach it. And that move is Return. And that is a Salamence. That is very scary. With Intimidate. Okay. Um... With Leer, okay. We just gotta hope we can kill it before Dragon Rage becomes an issue. Another crit, nice. Leer again, okay. I don't think it would have Dragon Claw at level 17. One more. Nice. Alright, Ursaring putting in the work against the Salamence. 
900 experience. My god, Kyle will gladly take that from you. Ooh, do we learn Sweet Scent? I'm going to say yes. Just because of Horde Encounters in this game. And that way, we potentially have the chance at... Well, I guess you can pick out a Pokemon depending on... Well, yeah, because it's a random weather. I think all the Pokemon will be random in a Horde. But I don't know how that works. Are you able to just choose then? I feel like you're just able to choose, or whatever is last alive you just get to have. So I think we'll, we'll stick with Sweet Scent for that reason. Uh, Oshawa, or Duwat, rather, is going to be level 26 here now. Probably not going to be alone in that. I feel like someone else is going to level up as well. Probably Kitsune, if I had to guess. Queen levels up. Nope, no one else. Alright. Kelly is a very good level now. Can't unfortunately get that Pokeball. Gloom is on this route. I will say I'm happy with what we got. <laughs> Alright, um, do we get to... Okay, so this is this part of the route. Okay, here's what I was thinking about ahead earlier. Is he holding a TM? What is that sign next to him then? Um, hmm. I think we get rid of Fury Swipes for return. Just because it's kind of an unreliable move. Alright, let's see how much he truly loves us now. Munchlax, alright. Let's see how much return is doing. This should be very powerful from Ursaring. Level 20 already. Okay, we're kind of getting to on par here. I do want to check how much Scratch does in comparison, so... Okay, Return does do more. Which is good. Good to know. But as uh, as we start using Kyle a bit more and more, that damage output is going to get a little bit ridiculous. So let's go ahead and encounter something down here, I guess. But there's the Flabebe that uh, <laughs> Dexio and Siner were speaking of earlier. Alright, we're able to get out of it though, and now we get to hop down on these rocks. Alright, and we do reach... Wait, Serena's gonna stop us, but we do reach the Pokemon Center finally. So let's go ahead and quickly heal up as we get the healing cutscene. First person healing cutscene. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna also buy a couple more Pokeballs here if we can. Yes we can, alright nice. So we do have Team Flare in the cave up ahead, but we do get the fossils, which is gonna be quite a neat encounter. But we gotta do first some 
How do we get down from here? Oh, we have to go through here, but I don't think we can do that yet. I don't mean to go in here just yet. So, let's head on over this way. Yeah, they're giving them a break, so I think that means head to the science lab. For the fossil restoration place. Alright, so let's see what's going on over here. Scientist is coming over to let us know. Future archaeologist, you were drawn here by the mystique of fossils, no doubt. Alright, so this is the fossil place, so we are going to pick up a fossil in the cave, and then hopefully we're going to be able to bring it back here and get a new partner, which should be, I think, level 25 if they kept it the same level in this game. I'm not sure if they did, though. But I'm hoping they did. I also do think we get a bike in the next town, which will be handy. <laughs> and much faster than these rollerblades. But... Oh wait, hold on, right horn. Let me make sure this is uh, its own route. Route 9, alright. So we get Route 9 and we get Glittering Cave. So let's see if we can actually encounter anything here on our way to Glittering Cave. How do we... oh. Well, our Route 9 encounter is a Go-Go. Alright. Uh, Go-Go should be able to live a faint attack. Barely. With Leech Seed, it should be able to live one more. And then I'm gonna throw a ball next turn, and we'll see if we can actually catch it or not. Worry Seed, Quick Feet, Insomnia. I think that takes it back up to the yellow, unfortunately. But we are going to throw a ball at it nonetheless. This is a grass type, I'm just realizing that. Um, hmm. <laughs> the question is do we add him to the team? Ron the go -Go. I don't think we're going to add him to the team. Well, there we go. Okay. Alright, we're going to head over here and pick up this item. Oh wait, no, we gotta, we gotta destroy it first. But yeah, I don't think we're going to need Go-Go now that we have Magneton. The only problem is Magnet Pull is what scares me, because Magneton can easily just die because we have it in for a battle. But I guess that means just never lead him and just, uh... Okay, we're going to be going around backwards, I guess, but... <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't think we're going to need it because of Magneton, but again, I guess we just never lead Magneton because of Magnapol. And in case Magneton does die because of that, then we can just swap. Uh, unfortunately, we can put Sci-Fi in the dead box and put Go-Goat on the party if that were to happen. But I don't think that's too much of a worry, at least for right now. Alright, so, here we are finally at Glittering Cave. Is this a battle? No. Oh, heal though. And a 
I could have gone to Alice, so we'll head into Glittering Cave and pick up our first encounter here. How do you go backwards? There we go. Alright, so what is our Glittering Cave encounter? Venipede. We do have the poison... Uh, what is it called? No idea what it's called, but the item in our bag we have that boosts poison type moves, so in the instance that we would put, need to put Venipede on the team, we're going to need to leave and heal now. Uh, but in that instance, we can easily just put that item on him and uh, pop him in the party if need be. As of right now, there is not really anything that I feel we need to swap the party out for for Venipede. So, he's also just going to be chilling in box 1 for the time being. And there we go, we got the Venipede. So we're going to head back out now and heal, because poison, even though poison doesn't uh, deal damage outside of battle here. Um, what do you name a Venipede? <laughs> Troy the Venipede is uh, what comes to my mind, so we'll let Troy take a seat in the PC box for the time being. We'll head out and heal. I'm I don't think I'm gonna lead Kyle actually for this. Might swap into Brakeson or Kitsun. I really don't know what that symbol is. But yeah, we're gonna swap to Kitsun, I think, and start leading him. So let's uh, let's go meet up with Team Flare down here and see how things go. Another encounter. Unfortunately, we do not get this one. That would have been a very nice one to have, though. <laughs> High Dragon. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we would have put it on the team. Because of, uh... Well, we've got our trusty Dragonair Queen now. So. And Elekid. Honestly, Glaring Cave is not bad. <laughs> In terms of the encounters it's giving us here. Venipede, I'd say, was probably the weaker one that we uh, could have gotten, but it happens. And I believe after this, we should be into the final room. Arbok. Pretty cool. Gen 1. Intimidate would have also been kind of useful. Alright, let's see what's in here. Let's mess with Team Flare a bit. I really love their uniforms. Team Flare looks sick. Oh well, what do we have here? A nosy little trainer has come picking around. Listen up. We're the fashionable team whose very name makes people tremble in fear. Team Flare. Team Flare's goal is to make it so we're the only ones who are happy. We do we don't we we don't care one bit about what happens to other trainers or Pokemon. Get out of here, kid. Don't you know not to play with fire? Getting my fancy suit dirty isn't a stylish way to do things, but if you insist, I'll obliterate you. Get him hounder. I don't think you're gonna have a hounder. Really good evil team ping as well. Especially Lysenders. Pretty, pretty damn good. Alright, Psybeam. Should Oko Machamp? No. Or Machoke. Hit yourself. Low sweep. Not gonna do too, too much. Uh, Ember should take this thing out next turn. 
I don't want to waste Psybeam, because I know there's a couple other battles in this cave. Fion, alright. Let's see how much Psybeam is doing, this should do a, I guess, not so great amount. We could go into sci-fi though, which I think I will do. Try and get some more experience here with him. Take the bubble fine, so let's see how much Thundershock is doing. Supersonic, okay, that's not gonna be too nice for us. How's the Thundershock doing? Alright, kills next turn. Bubble, let's hope we don't hit ourselves, because that could be dangerous because of the crit there. Ooh. Alright, we're gonna super potion. Hopefully, they don't crit again. Luckily for us, though, we're finally at the stage where we have more than just 40 HP, so. In the off chance we run into a Dragon Raging Pokemon again, we'll be fine. Alright, and we land the Thundershock and take out Fion. Sci-Fi putting in the work early on. Magnet Bomb? Um, I, we do need that, yeah. I'll get rid of Electric Terrain, I don't see us really setting it up anytime. I'd rather have a stab uh, steel type move so we can help with that rock type weakness as soon as possible. Uh, we are not going to learn Lucky Chant, no. Rover finally level 26. Caught up with the highest level mons on our team, or I guess not anymore since they're level 27. But uh, yeah. Flare Grunt down. I don't know if there's another one in this cave. There is, okay. Um, I think we're still good to lead Kitsune, actually. And I don't think this... This is another Elite Four member. It's Seabold again. Duke Grunt. I believe that was the name of the last one as well. Interesting. Carablast. I'm pitying it with Ember. Still Oko's. <laughs> That is uh, pretty sad there. Raikou. Ah, lovely. Um, I'm going to go into Rover, because Rover can just eat a hit from this thing. Thank god it's not an Entei, because uh, that would have been a different story. Well, I guess we have Kelly for Entei. So we, I guess I should say at least it's not a, uh, a sweet one. How much is Icy Wind doing? It should still do a very good amount of damage. Half? Alright. Berry though. Citrus Berry. Hurt by a berry when we made no contact. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. How much is Psybeam gonna do? It's... No, not quite KO. Other Shock. And Ember picks up the KO. Alright, nice. A thousand experience from a Raikou. And if we stayed in with uh, Rover, would have been 2,000. And an item? Alright, that could be useful for the Elite Four. Is that a Pokemon spot? It is, okay. Swoobat, or Woobat. I feel like that's not randomized either. I feel like that's just what you're supposed to get in this game. That might count as a static encounter, so that might be why. Because I don't think static encounters work based on the uh, Snorlax encounter we had the other day there. Serena is going to be here, though, to help us uh, 
take on Team Flair. Alright. I like how they're still called grunts, but they're... <laughs> they're not really. Mask Rain. Okay, Golar kind of scares me. But I know he's not going to have a move. Or he's only 20 though, but I don't think he's going to have a move that can really do too much to us. But live, that's not good. Shadow Punch. That is a little too much. Bubble should pick up the KO on Venipede. Alright, hopefully they only had one each. Wasn't paying attention. Yeah, they do. Okay. So I'm gonna swap into Kelly now. And then we should be able to take it out with a Water Pulse. But I might... Er, there's no point. Might, might as well use uh, Razor Shell. That is so much, that Shadow Punch. This should KO. Alright, nice. Golert goes down. We gain that experience. We defeated the team player bosses. I like how they still have the same dialogue though. <laughs> it's just random trainer with the uh, same dialogue. Escape rope. We'll definitely be using that. Do not want to do not really want to be in this cave anymore. But I will take my free fossil. Alright, save the scientist so we get a fossil. Uh, considering it's not going to matter, I'll just spam A through this. Since it's randomized, there's no point. Unless these kind of static encounters, I don't know. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. We'll escape rope though, and we'll uh, we'll hop on out of here. And then we'll make our way down to Silage City. Uh, let's see, escape rope, there we go. Gonna be healing from the lady outside and then heading back, because uh, we need it. Alright, Rhyhorn. Back to the town, please. So, now that we're kind of almost near the second gym, and it's been a couple episodes since our last gym battle, or it's been, we had the one episode, we had episode three, and then this is episode four now. So it's been approximately two episodes between our first gym battle. Uh, it's gonna be still... The game's gonna start picking up now. We're gonna have a lot more of the actual story pick in here rather than 18,000 routes in between the first and second gym, which I don't understand. It's like the complete opposite of the sun and moon complaint. It's like... Uh, I don't know, I guess it's the same. It's like the same as the Sun and Moon complaint. Where it's like, oh, the first hour of the game is just the tutorial, and then it's like, the first hour- oh, we don't need to heal. The first hour of, uh, or not the first hour, but like, it's an hour or two hours in between the first and second gym, and it's just like, why? You do need to get rid of something real quick, though. So, we'll put Duat in the PC. Just real quick, just want to make sure it's not Earth Ring, so we don't lose that compassion. I don't know if that does get lost though. Uh, through that. So, let's see, what do we get? Hopefully not a Tyrant. Golduck. <laughs> okay, so it is randomized. Uh, it's female as well. So, I don't think you can... Well, you can obviously name it something else, but I think Misty is quite fitting. 
So we're gonna drop off level 20 with a zap plate. I forgot to check the items the other ones are holding. None, none, none. Okay. Alright, we're good. I mean, Golok's not bad. Uh, in turn, if Oshawott or Duwat eventually goes down, uh, the replacement's right there. But again, it's another Psychic type that we'd need to add to the squad, so... Don't really know how I feel about that. Hold on, we need to go back in. We need to pick something up here. And we can't get an encounter here because this is still Route 8. Uh, but we can, now that we have this old rod, get an encounter in Silage City itself. So we're going to quickly go through this route, battle as much as we can, and then once we reach the Poka Center in Silage City, we'll save up shop there and continue and battle the Silage Gym in the next episode. So there we go, Dowsing Machine. Uh, I don't know if there's any real items you need to use that to get in this game. I don't think there's anything that important. But we will go ahead and battle this swimmer here, who is not a swimmer. He is a preschooler with a Garchomp. Uh, we're gonna have to switch to Rover immediately. If we got a Garchomp on this playthrough, I'd be very happy. Big fan of Garchomp. Sandstorm, alright. As long as you don't got Earthquake, we're fine. Sandstorm is going to be kind of annoying though. Icy Wind will definitely pick up the uh, one-hit knockout though. Down goes the Chomp. Alright, next Mon out. Let's see what this is going to be. Imagine being a preschooler and having a fully evolved pseudo-legendary Pokemon from the Sinnoh region. <laughs> Sci-Fi level 20 as well, nice. Kyle 24. XP is... it's starting to slow down. Tyrogue. Um, I'm going to Kitsune for that now. I believe one side beam should be enough to take this thing down. After a fake out, of course. Critical hit as well. Not doing that much damage at all. Doing as much as the sandstorm, probably even less. The Tyrogue does go down to the side beam. So I believe that leaves us with two or three more trainers left, and then uh, we're into Silage City. I think we'll leave the silage encounter for the next episode as well, just so we have something to uh, start on right away. Hex Maniac, Macargo, Rock Fire. That thing looks cool with that lava effect, actually. And the uh, felt like all those glitchy lines and stuff. Let's see if it dies to a razor shell. Hone claws, alright. Attack and accuracy. I don't see what it'd be really doing to us anyway. Surprise it outspeeds us though. It's neutral. It's a Zorark. Okay. That is cool. That is very cool. That thing attack did so much damage. Does that have leftovers? Shell Bell. Okay. Alright, Kelly levels up to 28 now. We're getting there to the 30s. Uh, Revenge, I think we can definitely get over Tackle at this point. It'll help us out a bit with those Dark types. 
muck. Uh, we can head in the kitchen for this. Takes it out, critical hit though. Switched out with the eject button. Okay, so I think we're safe to switch into Kelly again. It should have air balloon. Okay. Uh Kelly should be able to take out both Muck and Macargo. But knowing that that's a Zora that was plus two, that is a uh, pretty scary indeed. Alright, let's see. Razor Shell should be enough to take this thing out in one hit. Very nice. Air Balloon popped as well. Unfortunate, my friend. Alright, Queen is now level 19. And Muck is coming in, so let's see. Kelly should be able to take this thing out as well. I'm gonna Water Pulse it to save some PP, even though it doesn't really matter. We're almost at the Pokemon Center anyway. 712. These are some bulky, bulky Pokemon on this route. Alright, here we go. We've got one, two... Is that it? That's it. Okay. We've got two trainers. And then once we reach the Poke Center, we'll heal up, save. And then we'll continue with uh, Silage City in episode 5. Let's see how much flame charge is doing to Aromatisse. Po quite possibly the ugliest Pokemon in, uh, in existence. Flame Charge doesn't really do much. I'm gonna go for a Fire Spin and see if we can just trap it in a Vortex. We land, alright, cool. Fire Sloop as well. Now, is this thing pure Fairy? If that's the case, we can just hit it with Side Beam. Do get hit by Confusion, unfortunate. Echoed Voice comes out, which is kind of scary. If that thing can get it off enough. That's a crit though, so that's fine. So hopefully we can land this and we should be good. Alright, cool. So it does go down to the fire spin this turn. And hopefully, well, I think I'm going to switch out anyway. I was going to say hopefully we break out of confusion, but I don't think I have enough reason to stay in right now. Uh, I don't think we need to learn Spark either. Gothitelle. Gotharita is now in the PC box, come to haunt us. Uh, Rover, however, should be good enough to handle this. Also thinking now, if we give uh, Queen an Evil Light, that might be pretty good as well. Oh, I should have used Bite. Misclick on my behalf, this should still do decent. Yep, over half, very nice. Competitive, not nice. Fake tears. What's that lower? Special defense. I don't know if it's worth it to stay in. I think we go into Kyle. But I think he can take a hit. Or take it better than Sylveon, or not Sylveon, Glaceon can right now. Barely, but yes. Faint attack should KO. Nice. Kyle is now on the squad ready to put in the work. Very nice, Kyle. Um... No, I don't think we need to learn that. Alright, there we go. Level 25 for Kyle. Rover's now 28 as well. 
Kitsune is also now level 30, wants to learn Light Screen, we're not going to learn that because we don't need to. Uh, Kelly is now 29, everyone's leveling up this battle. And we're going to get an item, Citrus Berry, very good. Another Citrus Berry, okay. And the final trainer. Ace Surfer with Mantine. Okay, we should be good to go into sci fi here. Sci fi should be able to kill this thing with a Thunder Shock. See how much this is gonna do. Should do a decent amount. Water pulse. Okay, we we take that pretty well. Thundershock lands. Does over half. Nice. We're able to pull it off again. Then we should be good. All right, cool. Nothing stopping sci-fi. Level 22. Alright, the team is looking pretty good level-wise, um, especially for this next gym, even now that Queen's level 20. Um, we have a level 32, so we should be more than okay. Because I don't know what her ace is. I feel like it's 24, but I don't know for sure. Alright, first person view again. We are going to heal up though. I would like to say thank you guys so much for watching episode 5. If you did enjoy, feel free to comment down below, like the video, and subscribe for more Pokemon X randomized Nuzlocke. And I will see you guys all in the next video.